This podcast is distributed for general informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, accounting, or investment advice. The information, opinions, and views contained herein are our own and may be subject to change at any time without prior notice. All investment strategies and investment involve risk of loss. Any reference in investment past or potential performance is not and should not be construed as a recommendation or as a guarantee of any specific outcome or profit. We got to talk Doge, right? Well, here's what we got. Higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. This is our big transition here. We closed over it yesterday on the four-hour time frame, ripping up. BTC's dumping. Money's going in. It's all going to Doge. No, I don't really think that. But it's got a lot of hype behind it. You got your man Elon, you know, crushing stuff. Let's look at... To see if the fibs will actually tell us if there's anything real about a potential target. So 317 sats. I mean, it's not out of the realm. I mean, that's a, a doubling from you know yesterday. Ultimately, so I don't think it's out of the realm this week. Heck, then you saw what Doge did here. Doge can do that in a day depending on what happens with uh, the buyers. Where are they coming from? Doge to a dollar. Um, let's look at what Doge looks like on the... Ooh, that looks pretty too. This is... So in Kraken, they call it XDG, the same as they do uh, with Bitcoin XBT. So they like to make things confusing. All right. I know, lots of lines, but I just like to see some confirmed. Just move it up here. We got this marker here at eight cents. For me, on the, if I'm looking at bullish on the dollar side, which again, I don't care about the dollar side. I'm, I'm, I'm trading the BTC side. But I know a lot of you are looking at the dollar side. So uh, I'd like to see this, just this movement going up here. Um, probably going to get some sort of rejection there, but I'd like to see it keep this one the most. But if it, you know, this one would be fine too, and up and through. Depending on the momentum, I mean, we may just see it go up, come down through, and then up this way. But I mean, this, I definitely want to see this trend line hold. This is your marker. Uh, if you're not in, why? First off, but number two. And if you're looking for an entry, I would wait and see what plays out in this area, right? See what happens here. Uh, I mean, if you were wanting to just ape in and get in, uh, sure, I would set a stop loss. Mm, I mean, if I were to get in, I would set a stop loss in probably, I don't know, this stuff can rip down. If you get into this, you got to know that you're, you're, you're out your money, right? Doge is a meme coin. So stop loss below there. Otherwise, if you set it here, I think we, I think you could see it drop down into this uh, trend line, which if we're over here, you're going to be up in this area, most likely. It's tough to say, but watch this area. Uh, if you want to wait until the full send, I would wait to see how this area consolidates all through here. And then when we bust out, and we, if we get some sort of retest on here, then that's the send. Right? Let's see what this guy says for potential targets for our dollar side. 21 cents. Now, that's uh that's a nice little return. Even if you even if you got in and you were somewhat above that part, you're still looking at 100%, 130%. Uh, that's first target. Let's see what. So dollar. 
if we follow one of these trend lines, the dollar's sitting in in February time frame, potentially. I don't think so. I just don't see that happening. I think this is going to die out. We might get another push up. Uh, we could see that 20 cent range, uh, maybe a little higher. I don't know. I'm in it. I'm playing it. Let's see what happens. Go Doge.